Street food around Tokyo Station. 13 must try food. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. In today's video, we will explore street food around Tokyo Station. We'll share with you 13 menus from the most recent to the long established shops. The last to come is the famous butcher, so keep watching to find out more. Now, let's get started! We have arrived at Tokyo Station. In this channel, we covered souvenirs that can be bought at the station and Tokyo Ramen Street in the past. We introduced numerous content rich packed bento boxes, also known as ekiben. So make sure to check the video if you haven't watched it already. The first shop that we will look into is located in Tokyo Midtown Yaesu. Directly connected from basement of Tokyo Station. It's called Kotama. The shop serves Okinawan style rice bowl onigiri and it just started business last September. Its head shop is located in Okinawa and you see people lining up every day, which shows their popularity. What we are having today is the top seller and standard onigiri. It's this pork rolled egg onigiri. Pork luncheon meat and rolled egg are sandwiched between rice. Dried seaweed flavor used for the onigiri are of Ariake Sea and it smells divine. The rolled egg is fluffy because what they use are fresh and all within four days after they are being laid. The pork is juicy with just right amount of saltiness. The fat has been fused into rice. It's nice to be able to put your hands on Okinawan food at Tokyo. Now to trying Takimoto in the basement of Tokyo Station. This is a sushi and seafood bowl shop, only serving menus to go. We shall be taking bites of this sushi. This is a combo of conger eel and mackerel sushi. The volume is quite big and rich. Starting off with pouring soy sauce on a plate and then to take a bite of mackerel. The fish itself is very fatty, but it's seasoned with vinegar, so it's rather refreshing. It also has picked green wrapped around the sushi, so that adds a nice crunch. Seaweed liver wrapped conger eel has absorbed the sweet sauce and it tastes amazing. The scent of the liver adds nice touch. The conger eel that the shop serve has been steamed twice and being grilled six times to maximize their flavor. No wonder it's fluffy but moist at the same time. What a sushi! Let's now be out and head to three shops within Maranochi area, which is just a few steps from the station. The shops are tenants of Maranochi Brick Square. First, off to the basement floor one. You find numerous restaurants, but where we are unveiling today is this shop right here. It's Kisuke, serving ox tongue menus. The shop originates in Sendai Prefecture, where it's famous for ox tongue and has good reputation. Starting off with boiled ox tongue. This is ox tongue simmered in soup with salt and pepper for a long time. You can easily cut off into bite size with chopsticks. What comes next is tsukune, minced meat wrapped in skewers and grilled. Its chewy texture is addictive. It's very fatty too. You should try it with spicy bean miso paste. 
The number one menu that everyone would order is a combo of grilled ox tongue with soup and rice. The meat has thickness and is moist with moderate chewiness. It's also fatty and juicy too. I could forever eat rice with this meat. Now, moving next on to Echire Maison du Bourg. French and widely acknowledged as Echire butter is sold here. Ever since its debut in 2009, the shop would be filled with people soon after the opening hour and their popularity continuing even up to this day. Let's try two different kinds of bread today. Starting off with croissant, which is the must buy for many who visit here. The butter is so fragrant. The size is quite big and looks filling. With outside being crispy, inside is moist. You really taste that creaminess and sweetness from Eshere butter. Definitely a dainty. The other is a pastry and it's pan au chocolat. In the same dough with croissant, French chocolate is included. The aroma from chocolate and butter really elevates your appetite. Chocolate has both moderate sweetness and bitterness. Their crispy touch has great mouthfeel. Followed by the French butter, it's this shop right here. It's called La Boutique de Joël Robuchon. The café is produced by a widely known French chef, Joël Robuchon. People love to take their bread to go. And we picked up the top seller, which is this bread right here. This is a cream-filled bread. For its dough, abundant butter and egg are used. The outside surface of the bread is coated with powdered sugar. For the filling of custard cream, top-grade Tahitian vanilla is used, so the aroma is superb. Their sweetness is delicate. It's more of a dessert than a bread. We will now walk for 5 minutes to move to Nihonbashi area to share two shops. The first shop we'd like to touch on is Toffee Tokyo. It's a soybean dessert shop opened in 2021. Drinks and desserts made with soybean are listed abundantly. For this time, we'd like to try out a recommended gelato. This gelato is made with pistachio and soy milk. On top of the dessert, chocolate made of pistachio and tofu are sprinkled. Crushed pistachio nuts are also topped for extra aroma. The topped chocolate has natural sweetness coming from soybeans and pistachio. This would be a good pair to whiskey and wines too. The gelato is creamy and smooth. You really taste the natural sweetness rather than that of sugar. The roasted pistachio has nice textures too. Now, changing the subject to Nihonbashi Nagasaki-kan. This is a shop that promotes and sells products of Nagasaki Prefecture, located in the west of Japan. Today, we will be trying Castella cake, originates in Nagasaki. We picked the smaller size perfect for wandering around. Nagasaki Castella has history for over 400 years and has established as a standard dessert even up to this day in Japan. It's made with flour, sugar, egg, and honey. Airy and moist. The sweetness of honey is addictive. It's nice to be able to enjoy Nagasaki delicacy in Tokyo. Let's now walk to Nihonbashi Ningyocho area to check out a shop 
which is 15 minutes away from the Tokyo station. The first shop to introduce is Itakuraya. With 1907 being their start of business, the shop has over a hundred years of history. For here, we'll try Ningyo Yaki, which originates in Ningyo Cho right here. Ningyo Yaki is a dessert that has sweet red beans paste inside the costello dough that we just talked about. The pastry is in the shape of Japanese god, and it looks rather adorable. For the filling, koshian, smooth sweet red bean paste is used. It's sweet and addictive. And definitely the dessert with Japanese feel. Let's wrap up the video by checking Imahan Sozai Honten. It's a delicatessen run by a meat restaurant, Imahan. Imahan itself has a long run history from their start in 1895. There are so many menus to choose from, but we'll share two of our favorite. The first one we're trying is ground meat cutlet. Most of those who visit here would pick up this cutlet. The smell of sauce is so fragrant. For the minced meat, beef and pork are combined. The combination of beef's flavor and fat from the pork are perfect together. The flavor from the meat fills up my mouth. I would love to drink beer with this. And lastly, to check out Chinese steamed bun. Their size is big and looks very filling. Inside, this bun is filled with sukiyaki ingredients, which is a specialty of Imahan. The filling includes soy sauce and sugar simmered shirataki, shiitake mushroom, and beef. The beef is sweet and addictive. The goodness from shiitake mushroom has been fused into the dough of the bun. What a feeling, steamed bun! If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!